Welcome to our demo. So what we are going to show here is that you can run both HPC and AI workload in the same given system. Uh, so what we are doing is we are remoting into a given system where we've got the four max 1100 GPUs. Uh, this is a max 1100 GPU for, for your reference. Uh, this is a PCIe Gen 5 uh, with the TDP of 300 watts, uh, 40 GB HBM2 and uh, 56 XC cores in this card. So, uh, and the bigger brother, bigger version of that card is the uh, Max 1550. Uh, you got a buy four version of it and a buy eight version of it, which are available in the boots nearby if you want to look at. Uh, but for this demo explicitly, what we are going to show is that you can run both HPC and the deep learning workload on a single system, right? So the workload that you're going to see here is the LAMPS workload, which is more of a, a molecular dynamics, uh, a, uh, visualization workload over here and this is going to be running on the GPUs 0 and 1 with ID 0 and 1. So you could see that the utilization goes up to 88 percentage when the code is actually running over here and uh, and that's happening on uh, the GPUs with ID 0 and 1, right? And here you have the Babel stream workload which is nothing but a bunch of uh, matrix copy, matrix multiplication, addition, triad and dot product happening on the GPU with the ID 2. And here you could see that the utilization will go up to 99.98 percentage uh, when this code actually gets executed over there. So these two are the HPC workloads. And the, the one that you have over here is the stable diffusion workload, right? <coughs> so stable diffusion is a model created by stability.ai. And what we have done is we've taken the uh, open source stability dif uh, stable diffusion weights from Keras CV. And we just added one extra line of code, which is like importing the Intel TensorFlow extension onto it. So what it does is that it takes the weights, model weights, and makes sure that it runs at an optimum pace on the Intel Max 1100 GPU, right? And the common denominator for all these different three workloads is that all these three uh, workloads use one API toolkit in the bottom. So the uh, Intel Transformer extensions, uh, Intel TensorFlow extensions use the one API base toolkit, and uh, the, uh, the workloads of the HPC specifically use the one API HPC toolkit. So that's the demo that we have here showing that you could run both HPC and deep learning workload on a single system without any interruptions.